guys, this is Emily from Emily's Anthology and I am back today with a brand new video. This time teaching you how to do smoky eyes that are really flattering on both warm skin tones as well as cool skin tones in people with blue eyes. Now I wanted to show you guys that you don't necessarily need to have a whole bunch of products to create different looks. So I'm using most of the products from my previous video and incorporating them into this video to show you guys that you can use the exact same products and create two different kinds of looks. Before you check out this video, if you want to check out the video that I previously did, I'm going to link it over here for you guys. And if you have seen that video, then I really hope that you enjoy this video and let's get started. Now of course I want my makeup to last long, but I also want to give my skin a dewy, kind of moisturized base for my foundation to stick on. So I'm going to go in with one of my Shuramura Pentagon sponges. And the Shuramura Pore Eraser, this is the UV Under Base Mousse. And this is in the pink color. So I'm pumping out a little bit onto the back of my hand. And then using my Pentagon sponge to apply it onto my skin. So next I'm going to be moving on to the foundation. I'm using the Shuramura Light Bulb Foundation in the compact version, which I showed you how to use in my previous video. And if you haven't seen that, I'll just link it up here for you guys. I am moving on to my brows now and I'm using the Shuramura Hard 9 Brow Pencil in the color Seal Brown. I'm going to move straight on to the eyes now before I continue with the skin and the first thing I'm going to do is go back in with my Pentagon sponge and a little bit of that UV under base mousse that is left over and I'm just going to tap that on top of the eyes as a bit of a primer for my eyeshadow. And then now moving on to the eyeshadow, I'm going to be using the exact same palette as I used in my previous video and it features these four really beautiful neutral colors and I'm going to be using these two. The first one is a bit of a darker brown color and the second one is an olivey bronze color. Now the first thing I'm going to do is take a bit of that brown color on an eyeshadow brush and just pack that onto my lid. Now I'm going to keep the middle part of my lid clear because that's where we're going to place that olivey brown eyeshadow. And at the end of the eye, I'm just going to create a bit of a flick. And then over that, I'm just going to go in with that brown shadow to join the inner and the outer parts together. So next, I'm going to really softly blend this color out, just at the edges. Or if any area of the eyeshadow seems a little bit patchy, what you can do is dip this blending brush into a little bit of the eyeshadow and then go over that area. And this will help you blend the edges out as well. And then I'm just going to switch to a fluffier blending brush to blend it out even more. And then now that that eyeshadow is nicely blended out, I'm going to go back in with my flat eyeshadow brush and apply the bronzy color onto the center of the lid. Now this color is not that much brighter than my dark eyeshadow, so all it's going to do is add a bit of luster to that area and just brighten it up a tiny little bit so it catches the light when I blink or when I close my eyes. And once I've applied that, I'm going to go back into the brown sections and just blend a bit of that brown eyeshadow into the lighter bronze eyeshadow. Alright, I'll come back to the top part of my eye later, but for now I'm going to go back in with that brush that I used to blend the darker brown eyeshadow at first. And I'm going to apply that to the under eye area. The reason why I'm using this brush is because I want something that's fluffy enough so that it deposits kind of a thick layer of color underneath my eyes. And 
And then moving on, I'm going in with my absolute favorite liquid eyeliner at the moment. This is the Shuramura Calligraph Ink Liquid Liner. Now I'm also going to apply this liquid liner to the lower lash line, but a little tip I have for you guys when you want to apply a liner to the lower lash line, liquid liner that is, is to have a little smudger brush ready because liquid liner doesn't go on the lower lash line very well. Let me just show you what I mean by that. See, it's a bit too harsh a line if you can tell. So what I'm going to do is put a really messy kind of line down. And then quickly, before everything dries and sets, with that smudger brush, just smudge everything out. Okay, so next up, curling my lashes, mascara, and false eyelashes. I will do all of that, and I'll be right back. Now to add some finishing touches to the eye, I'm going to mix in the two lightest shades here. One is a shimmery pink, and one is a matte white. And apply that to the inner corners of the eyes. I'm also going to dip into a bit of the white eyeshadow and apply that underneath my brow bone just to lighten it up the tiniest bit. And then as a final, final step for the eyes, I'm going in with my sleek contour kit. This is in the color medium. And I'm going to place the contour in between my eyeshadow and my white highlight that I just applied. I'm going to bring that contour down onto the nose as well. I'm going to move on to clean up underneath the eyes now and for that I have a Korean concealer. This is the brand Kathy Cat. It's my favorite concealer. It's called the Ultra Cover Sealer and unfortunately I heard that it's been discontinued <laughs> so I'm sorry I'm using this. I just really really love it. I'm going to use that with the Shomura Pentagon sponge and just lighten up my under eye area a little bit as well as conceal any other imperfections that I have around my face. Next I'm going to bring back a little bit of the shadow um, into my face or rather my facial features. So I'm going back in with the sleek contour kit and I'm just going to lightly add a bit of contour just around the sides of my face basically. And then for the cheeks, because I really liked it last time around, I'm using a different color now. This is the Shuramura Lip Tint in Gelato, but I'm using now the color AT02. And it's just a really gorgeous fuchsia color. And as I did in the last video, I'm going to take it off on the back of my hand and then pick it up with the Pentagon sponge. And you want to really disperse the product before you even start putting it onto your skin because it does set really quickly. And then just tap that into your skin. I'm going to focus a little bit more on the outer corners of the face. And then finally for the lips, I'm going in with the exact same product that I used in my last video because I really, really loved it. It is the CR03 Lip Tint in Gelato, also from Shuramura. And this one I'm just going to apply with the applicator. And I'm going to blend it out with my finger. And then to enhance the shape of my lips a little bit, as well as to warm up the color because this is quite a cool color. I'm going to go in with my number 7 lip pencil. This is the perfect lips pencil in the color nude. I'm just going to run that along the edges of my lips just to give it a bit more shape. And then once that's done, I'm going to go over it with my Rouge Bunny Rouge Lip Gloss. This is the color Rhubarb Custard. And this is only going to go over the center of my lips. 
And that is my finished look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And if you have any questions or any comments, as usual, just leave them in the comment box below and I will get to them as soon as I can. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!